Welcome back to live continuing coverage of day two of the South Carolina Agribiz and Farm Expo. And joining us this morning, we have Aaron Wood. He is the Commissioner of Operations with the South Carolina Department of Agriculture. Aaron, thanks for joining us. Good morning, Donna. Thank you for having me this morning. It's good to be here. Well, it's good It's good to have you. Now, I know you're a, a Clemson guy, and you know, and it's Friday, and we're required to wear orange on Fridays, right? I know. I, I know oh, I failed. But you did to, wear it yesterday. I did. I wore my orange uh, yesterday, so uh, sorry for not having it on this no, morning. No, no, no. I am no, a proud Clemson joking. alum. Oh, yeah, you are. And, um, and I'm just joking about that. But anyway, um, I know that you've been at the Department of Agriculture now for... I started with Commissioner Weathers in January 2005 in the marketing division. I mm -hmm. uh, worked with uh, soybean growers in the state and then also uh, did some international trade, some export assistance for value-added food products. Wonderful. Um, tell us what all that means and what you actually do now. <laughs> okay, well, w what we did on the uh, international trade side was we just helped uh, companies that had food or ag products you know, that manufactured or sold in South Carolina. They were looking to get maybe into the, some export business. We helped them do some, uh, make some connections overseas, did a little market development in some areas where we saw some opportunities, and then helped uh, put them in touch with buyers, uh, facilitate uh, those transactions uh, overseas through a variety of activities. And, uh, excuse me, go ahead. Uh, I, as, I was, uh, as you asked uh, now, I oversee agency operations at the department and uh, what that entails is, is basically all of the, the typical functions that any business would have that support the mission. Uh, human resources, uh, our public information and uh, printing uh, office and administration, finance, procurement, uh, IT. Those, uh, those units. You know, and, and there's so much that goes on with the uh, Department of Agriculture, and, and the layperson doesn't always think about how far the department goes in terms of trying to protect our, our food and, and food security. I imagine you came in contact with that quite a bit in terms of, of looking at exporting and importing and things such as that. Sure. Our uh, two missions at the Department of Agriculture are, number one is growing and promoting agribusiness. That includes marketing of uh, South Carolina products, probably our most visible uh, side of our mission, our dual mission. People have come to know and recognize the certified SC Grown logo. Yeah. And people see that out there and that's great and we want to keep building that brand and protecting the integrity of that brand at the same time. The other side of our mission is consumer protection and we do that through a variety of avenues. We have six labs at the Department of Agriculture. Uh, they uh, do everything from testing fuel to make sure that fuel is good, uh, that it's uh, the quality that it's supposed to be. Fuel for our cars. Fuel for vehicles, that's correct. Fuel for your cars. Uh, to make sure that if you're get, uh, pumping uh, 87 octane, that it is 87 octane. Make sure it doesn't have any water in it. Uh, we have a lab that looks at uh, uh, pesticide residue on food products to make sure that uh, the food products that we're eating in South Carolina don't have pesticide residue on them. And I'm, and I'm happy to report that uh, uh, most don't. Uh, I think we had uh, last year less than 1% of all food products tested uh, uh, actually less than a half a percent of, of products tested had pesticide residue, so that's a, yeah, that's a good thing. Yes. Um, we, uh, we have a uh, lab that tests for uh, feed analysis so that when people feed their animals, either pets or uh, horses, cattle, that uh, the feed is the quality that's, uh, that's reported. Uh, so we do a lot of, lot of different things at the Department of Ag that uh, folks don't know about. And some of those things benefit uh, producers like our seed lab that tests the uh, germination of, of seeds to make sure that it's uh, good. Uh, but also things that affect all, you know, uh, four million people in the state of South Carolina, like the, the, the food safety aspect. Well, and, and, and we, we do think about food but um, the gasoline, I just had not thought about. Yeah, well, actually, a lot of people, it, it's kind of funny that a lot of people know Commissioner Weathers' name because they see his name on the sticker 
at the gas, at the pumps, gas pumps that says that it's been inspected. <laughs> uh, and those inspectors are looking to make sure that when you pump a gallon of gas, that you're getting a gallon of gas. Right. And uh, they have threshold or tolerance levels that those stations have to be within or else they have to you know, stop sale and take the pump uh, offline. But it's kind of funny. It's not something you would think that the Department of Ag does, but a lot of people know Commissioner Weather's name from from, uh, from, from those uh, uh, gas well, pump stickers. Well, I might need to quit lamenting how dirty my car is and turn around and look at the pump. <laughs> <laughs> but that it's wonderful to hear that, that we're in good hands in terms of, of looking at not only our food, but um, the petroleum or the gas, gasoline, and um, also what you're doing in terms of ensuring that our seeds are in, in good order. One other thing to note, uh, we have uh, food safety inspectors uh, out in the state and just as DHEC regulates restaurants and they mm -hmm. give an A, B, or C rating uh, to a restaurant when you walk in the door. Yeah. Uh, we do that for food manufacturers and distributors in the state. So any food products that are made in the state or even housed and distributed, our inspectors are in there making sure that uh, that, that food is, uh, is manufactured uh, according to state and federal uh, rules. So uh, another, another thing that we're doing out there, and we're going to be more aggressive uh, as we go forward in trying to let the public know just how we serve them in, that, in those areas. Amazing and wonderful. And thank you, Mr. Aaron Wood from the South Carolina Department of Agriculture. It's, it's amazing what's going on and that we didn't know about and that I didn't know about until right now. And I want to ask you to continue to follow us over the course of the day as we have live continuing coverage from the South Carolina Agribiz and Farm Expo.